Team Wall Sharp is here in Redmond, Washington to create a proof of concept prototype for Microsoft featuring 3D projection mapping and the Kinect. Our goal is to create an entertaining, interactive installation that showcases Microsoft's design aesthetics and technologies and profitably showcases Microsoft products and illuminates the Microsoft story. We chose projection mapping for its relatively low cost and a low overhead associated with reconfiguring the display in the future. Using a concept called homography, we distorted the projected content in real time to align to the contours of the physical installation. The default state of the experience is a navigation system designed in the style of Microsoft's Metro design paradigm. In order to capture the attention of passerby, the cubes rotate as guests walk by, indicating that the cubes are interactive. Guests can then launch various applications by interacting with the display through a connect mounted on top of the installation. One of the apps that we created is a Halloween-themed minigame in which the guest helps a ghost gather candy from residents of a haunted house. Guests use their hands to guide the ghost around the haunted house and scare the residents into throwing candy at him. As the ghost shenanigans continue, the moon slowly turns into a giant lollipop, and at the end of the experience, the ghost grabs the lollipop and presents it to the guest. Another app that we created is a music app featuring various album covers and music clips. The third app that we created is a weather app that displays weather conditions in various cities around the world. We used Maya, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator to create the art assets and Unity 3D to implement the experience. We chose Unity because it allows for rapid prototyping and simplifies collaboration. One of the major challenges was accurately distorting the content to align to the cubes. Unity does not have any tools to accomplish this task, so we had to create our own. Fabricating the display out of cardboard boxes was also a significant challenge because even small deviances from expected measurements would throw off our projections by a noticeable amount. We ended up manually resizing all the boxes ourselves to fit more closely to our specifications.